YTPC. Not BRTV. Padre, <laughs> coming to you via the virtual airwaves of YouTube. Say hello, uh, YouTube. Pipe smoking community. Mm -hmm. Not BRTV, because we just record it for BRTV. We did. And so we're going to be dressed the same when you see us this weekend over on Briar Report. It's so weird. Yeah. But uh, Mark agreed to stick around and make a video with me, and I enticed him by letting him smell this. And I'm waiting for him to do his charring light. It's a little moist, isn't it? So I don't have any problems lighting This, this it. is tough. Yeah. But um, this, you got to admit the jar note was enticing, wasn't it? I don't know. The room is filled with green dragon, so I don't know uh, what that's going to do if I'm going to be able to get a good sniffer. You want to tell them what we're doing here? I have no idea. You did not tell me. I didn't tell you the name of this? Oh, I thought, well, I thought you were talking the video. I'm like, I don't know what we're discussing, but this is buttered rum? Butter Sut pecan. Sutliff? Butter buttered pecan. That's it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... It's an official Sutliff. I've never had this before. You've never had it before, but no. both of us were caught by the um, the jar note because I said it. You said, "Is this a McClellan's?" And I said, "That's the same thing I thought when I smelled it because it reminded me. I think of Mellow Mac, and Mellow Mac reminds me of Holiday Spirit, except Holiday Spirit has like a rum mixed in it. So uh, I don't know. We're going to find out if this is close to anything McClellan's makes, uh, but it sure smelled like it in the jar. I'm going to tell you from just first puff, it, it does not taste like it smells. They never do, but, you know, this really doesn't. There's a little nuttiness to it, but I don't mm -hmm. get pecan. Mm -mm. As long as it doesn't burn me, I'll be out. All right, so that's what we're doing. And uh, I went and printed this up real quick. What this is made of is black Cavendish, pure black Cavendish. And it's got flavorings of pecan and vanilla added to it, okay? Now, how does that differ from Mellow Mac? Mellow Mac is black Cavendish, Burley, and Cavendish, and it has honey and pecan added to it oh, as okay. flavorings, okay? I now, I always said that I thought Mellow Mac and Holiday Spirit were very similar, the difference being like a little rummy addition. And according to this... You got notes. Black Cavendish, Burley, and Virginia. So the difference being there's some Virginia in Holiday Spirit that's not in Mellow Mac, and it's got a cocoa slash chocolate pecan rum. Mm. So... I don't know. I was just tossing all that out there. Um, I got this because it just reminded me, when I read about it, I'm like, oh, that's that sounds like fall. That's interesting. That sounds like fall. Uh, now, I will tell you, on TobaccoReviews.com, it, here's its score. It gets, it gets a 1.8. That's not a high score. It's so, like 10, uh, right? You know, it's... <laughs> But you know, in retro hail, I get that. I get a little pecan. It's not bad. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I agree with that. I can live with this. It's just, not, it's it not. was a little less wet. Yeah, well, we probably should have let it This is the first bowl I'm having from this. I just that got it. Sopping wet. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. like it puts Samuel Gay with the shame. Yes, yes. Yes. All right. Uh, so, the real purpose of this video, Mark VV, I'm waiting, is. I have an announcement to make. Oh, Lord. You ready for this? I have no idea. It's October. All right, well, got the video over. October marks my fifth year on YouTube in the YTPC. I wonder how many minutes people have watched you. It's funny you should ask that, Mark VV, <laughs> because not only am I celebrating my five-year anniversary on YouTube this month, but I will hit... Could be like a million? One million what? watch time minutes. What? Like, even if I don't put a video up, it's going to happen just by the residual videos out there. The so algorithm pushing the video into people's Whatever. Places. Yeah, I mean, I'm due to hit it this month if I haven't already hit it. Uh, so, um, well done. Well, done. well thank you. I, I didn't do a whole lot, and why the hell you people would watch me for a million minutes? Done out. However, as is the custom of this fine community of ours... You know what you should do? A giveaway. Yeah. 
Yeah, because that's what we do in the YTPC when milestones are reached. So for my five year million minute milestone, I'm going to do a giveaway. And, um, you know, we talked about this over on BRTV, which is not airing until this weekend. I'm hoping this airs today when I when we film it. But um, I needed, I wanted something unique, and I had no idea of how to do a giveaway, and you came up with a perfect kind of idea for it. I don't know. This is the first I've heard about it. What are you talking about? Maybe it was the other Mark VD <laughs> who came up with the perfect idea. So you want me to explain it? I can explain it again. Yeah. So he's going to pick a number. Randomly, yes. <laughs> random RNG, random number generator, uh, between one and a million. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to a little website. Yeah, over on Briar Report. On Briar Report. Because Phil says, hey, I'll help yeah. you with this because he's a nice guy like that. So he's going to, and I'll have the link down in the cellar. It'll be over on Briar Report. You yeah. Click the link. You're it'll bring you to the page on Briar Report, and you do what? And there's going to be something, some kind of field. You're going to just pick yeah. a number and put, plug in your number, and then plug in your email address, contact information. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you're uh, closest to the number without going over, because mm -hmm. it's like the Price is Right. Yeah, you can't go over. You will. Uh, you'll win a uh, a pipe. That's right. So that's what's really cool about this. You're going to win a brand new pipe from our friend. Get this, Professor Walker. He's a nice guy. He's a great guy, and he's a very nice uh, pipe carver, which I think he's relatively new at. But I have one of his pipes. I have a Prince. It smokes like a charm. And in my opinion, the guy doesn't charge enough for what he, he does. Uh, his pipes are fantastic and worth well more. Now is your time to buy a WPC pipe, because I guarantee you he's going to start raising. His pipes will never selling. be cheaper than no, they are right now. That's right. Uh, he really does do a good job. Now, what he has said was, hey, Padre, that's so cool. I want to make a pipe for you to celebrate. So he has made or is making the Million Minute Pipe. And what's unique about it is you can fit one million grams of tobacco. That is not true. <laughs> that is absolutely not true. But it is cool. And uh, I have some pictures of it somewhere. And if, if I can find them, maybe I can edit them in the video. Uh, he was putting some finishing touches. It's still not completely done, but by the time the contest is over, and the contest will end when? I don't know. I'll have to have a follow-up video to explain that part of it. But as of now, here's all I do know. If you go to the link, which hopefully will be in the cellar of this video, it'll take you to briarreport.com. You can fill out the little form. It's going to ask you for your, uh, I don't know, name and email address. I need your email address, not because I'm going to spam you and not because Phil at Briar Report is going to spam you. He's going to sell it to me and then I'm going to spam you. That could be. No. we got to be able to get in touch with you if you win. Uh, and I'm going to ask for your YouTube um, handle. But can I do that? I've, I've got to be able to confirm that you're a subscriber. So That's I guess important. if you don't have a YouTube channel, you can still be a subscriber, so we can figure that out. You probably you. just want to comment on the video, just so we know. No, it, uh, you can comment all you want. That, But Phil's keeping track of it Phil, over on his end. Phil's so got the know. magic. Yeah. So, so let's just put it this way. If you pick the right number without going over, closest to one in a million and you win because we pick you you're not a subscriber we just do it again you ain't winning if you ain't a subscriber but if you're smart like me you'll have like 10 handles and I'll just you know cheater yep. you can't do that <laughs> and all the other rules apply like if it's illegal for us to ship a pipe to Timbuktu because Timbuktu is a bunch of anti pipe Nazis then you can't win you can't win you or can come over here and pick it up if you want or as you go over to prof. Or it'll be confiscated by the Timbuktu government, and you can pay the duty. There you go. Duty. He he said duty. He said he was going to try and work the word duty into a video because he watches Beavis and Butt. Finally. Duty. We talked about that last week. Beavis and Butt. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I remember that now. Okay, so this butter pecan... I'm getting a little more of the butter now. The, mm -hmm. butter, the butter pecan kind of note. Yeah, I think the flame of lighting and has dried it a little bit and I'm getting some of the flavor. And it's yeah. not bad. It's not biting me either. No, I know. I'm definitely getting the... At first, I couldn't taste a darn... Thing. I think if we dry it out, it'd be better. Um, I'm not... I'm not opposed to this at all. I wonder... I'm not getting a good sense of the room note, but I suspect it's probably 
Nice. I don't think this is going to be a bad aromatic. And with fall upon us, butter pecan sounds like you should be enjoying it around Thanksgiving. And that's coming up in about about a month. In America. In America. I'm sorry, in the United States of America. America. Our Canadian friends are also in America. Our Mexican friends are also in America. But when you say America, you I mean, I mean kind United of States know, of America, right? Yeah. No, what we're talking about, right? Can- Canada does have Thanksgiving Day. It's just a different day. I don't remember when it is. Do you remember? Might be this. Might be in October. I don't know. Well, it's a good. weird Canadian number. There's a Canadian mm-hmm. Thanksgiving. Eh? Somebody from Canada could probably chime in and tell us what it is. Ours is what the fourth Thursday of November. I think it's the, what November twenty third or something. Is that this year? Yeah. No, it's the twenty sixth. I think. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, whatever day is before Black Friday. That's, that's right. That's what makes that's it Thanksgiving. There you go. <laughs> Black Friday, which also appears on the liturgical calendar. It does not. Mm. So, Mark came over because we needed to record episode four. Which we have successfully done. Of the Briar Report television series on Middle Earth blends from the Country Squire Tobacconist. Yes. Which I'm assuming Phil will be able to get up by this weekend. We recorded it last week, too. We did. Same episode. (laughs) It did not work, so we had to re-record it. It was the same episode. It was a take two. It was the same episode, and some of it repeated, but it was also uniquely done a week later. So so. we have no idea what we said, but I still think you should put it up as like a little freebie. Uh, It's audio only. Well, we could do that. It would. It'd be like listening to a podcast, I guess. Except for when you're holding stuff up going, look at this, and look at this, and then you'd have to use your imagination. So, Mark VV, this is a work day, yet you're off. I I left early? You did. Did you, like, storm out and quit the bank? Oh, as much as I love to do that. You didn't. In fact, I didn't, no. In fact, if I do ever quit the bank... That's how you're going to do it? I have decided I will just lock my drawer and walk out. Why would you lock your drawer? So they can't get to the money. Oh, so, so it's difficult for them to. You can't like walk out with the money because then it would like. Then it would be actually it would be an yeah. actual crime. Yeah. So I would just lock my drawers, put my keys on the counter, and uh, walk out. And Wait, you would leave your keys after locking the drawer? Well, maybe I'll throw them somewhere or something like. That. So I like I th- I think it's probably bad for me to leave with the keys because you know because it's I have a branch key as well. Ooh. Yeah, so like so you can get in. So I get in. And I'm suspecting they're going to change the locks <clears throat> if you did that. I pr- they probably would. I mean, I would. But I don't hate my job. I don't hate my workplace. I don't hate my coworkers. So you're not doing this. So I'm not going to do that. Why are you having this fantasy? Just, I, but that's just if. Well, because there was this video I saw uh, uh, on YouTube, of course, of all places, of this guy who quit his job, right. but he 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 dressed up in like a banana suit, and then he brought a mariachi band. <laughs> Which is the only way to quit your job. Which is the only way. And I'm like, that would be great. Yeah. But no. Yeah. So I devised my own way of, like, if I'm just going to quit, I'm just going to walk out and not say anything. There you go. And they'll be like, where'd Mark go? And I'll be like, I, I quit, you know? So, Mark VV, if you were to pick a number between one and a million, and by the way, you're not able, you're not eligible. I've just arbitrarily decided because, well, then I'm not, I'm done. See, you later. see, this is how he quits and walks out. But what number would you pick? I would pick 707,999. And I don't know why. I just pulled that out of my head. Uh, 776,996? Why? I don't know. It's just close to yours, and I don't want to go over, so. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, I would think your chances of winning this are pretty good. Uh, you've got a one in a million chance. You do. That's of better than the right number. number. But like, let's say fifty people enter. Yeah. Then your chances are really just one in fifty. This is very to true. get a brand new pipe from yeah. WPC Walker Pipe Company. Though, if you pick a number higher than the number, your chances are well, they're zero. immediately. <laughs> That's right. It goes away. So I would pick a number. I'll pick a low number, but you don't want to pick it too. Like I would pick maybe in there in the four hundred thousands. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe. I don't know. You know, I do hope that random number generators can randomly generate a number as high as a million. I'm sure they can. I don't. 
I guess they can. I've never done that before. Mm. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out. So what do you think of this uh, Sutliff butter pecan? I can live with this. This is not a bad aromatic, meaning it's behaving well, even though it's wet. I like it more than the... The more that I smoke it, the more I like it. Mm -hmm. Initially, I was like, this is just hot air. But now that I've dried it out a little bit, yeah, I agree. You can taste it. And, and just for... It, it is not Mellow Mac. <laughs> no, <laughs> this, not at all. Like, that's is, what it smelled like in the jar. This, the jar note is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Does yeah. it taste like that? No. 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 It doesn't taste bad. But it's not bad. Like, if you're just looking for something to smoke to not think about, you know, this would probably... Uh, a great little mindless blend you could chug in. Yeah, and I'm thinking the room note is probably pretty nice. Um, I can't tell at the moment, but this, I'm, I'm guessing that uh, people wouldn't be angry with you for smoking this. I don't think it's going to smell up the joint. With I'm, I'm sure the nicotine content is extremely low. Well, it's all Black Cavendish, so it probably yeah. is a lower nick. It does seem like Black Cavendish is lower on the nick. So... Um, who needs Nick when you've got the coffee we're drinking today? Yeah, the uh, the Death Wish. We the Death Wish. Yes. I uh, brought him a couple pods of this. Which apparently has twice the caffeine. Supposedly it's the strongest coffee on earth. Caffeine-wise. Caffeine-wise. And it does have a bold flavor, too. It's got a strong flavor. Smooth as heck for a bit. It's, it's very good. It's not an acidic taste at all. I find you know, it. I got a lot of... Or I got more. a lot of, like... Dark cherry notes is that is that a good word? Dark cherry? Yeah, like a chocolatey dark cherry kind of, kind of. But it's very smooth, so you don't. It's not bitter. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not bitter. No, not at all. No, and actually, it's complementing this butter pecan from Sutliff rather well. I believe you can get the, the the Death Wish coffee at Walmart. I do believe you could take care of a lot of Death Wishes at Walmart, <laughs> including your own. Maybe. Yes. Just want to lay on the floor and die. So did you actually go to the store to get that, or did you yeah. order it from no, Walmart? No, I went to, went to Walmart and got it. I God was, bless your I soul. I was in there for, for the wife getting something that she wanted me to get her. Yeah. Or something for the baby, or, you know. You know, if you pull off a miracle or two, that would get you canonized right there. Works of go mercy, to going to Walmart and having some miracles, yeah. I think I discussed this prior, before, I don't know if I told you, but, like, there was one more, well, I think it was like Sunday morning, I went to Walmart, and it, the first time I've ever used the word Walmart was a pleasurable experience. <laughs> it was yeah, I think you so texted me chill. That day. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Like, there was nobody there, though, right? I didn't, yeah, nobody was there. Yeah. But it was just like, wow, I've no, I didn't know shopping here could be like this. Yeah. We, um, we have been collecting here at the church money to purchase gift cards to send to the hurricane area. Well, I'm going to give you a little heads up, folks. If you ever have to buy like thousands of dollars worth of gift cards from Walmart, you need to have a conversation with your credit card company in advance. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Because after we hit like 500, they shut my card down. For fraud? <laughs> yeah. And I, I could have told you I that. I was getting like text, like, you know, your Did card. Did you approve this purchase? Exactly. Yeah. So it was kind of a, it was kind of a. Why don't you ask your banker friend next time before you do something? Because I, well, how am I supposed to know that in advance that you can't buy thousands of dollars worth of because gift cards? Because that's what a fraudster would do. <laughs> that's exactly why. Well, apparently they don't. They can't because once you hit well, yeah, 500, exactly. it shuts it down. That's what they would try to do. They go buy a couple Xboxes and then bring, bring them yeah, back. Yeah, but the, the way it was explained to me by the Walmart person is like, yeah, I'm not surprised. This happens all the time. I'm like, you could have told me that. Um... It, it also has something to do like they with... they knew? <laughs> well, like, apparently... Yeah, they kind of knew because it's happened before. So it's not just the size of the purchase, but it's uh, somehow or another, the computers in the sky <laughs> know that you're purchasing just gift cards. It, it's like they know, like, they walk in, like, this is probably fraud, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, look, I did walk in kind of dressed like this. So if I'm going to fraud them, like I'm going all out to put a costume on and such to try and fraud the whole Walmart... <laughs> That's what fraudsters do. They, they dress up in like construction outfits or stuff like that. And yeah. They walk Priestly in costume. Priestly attire. They, yeah. It's saying, hey, Just I've got to buy gift cards for the hurricane-stricken area. I mean, I guess you could do that. That's pretty low life if you're going to go out and do it that way. Yeah. You know? So don't do it that way. Don't do it that way. Just have a talk 
with your bank in advance before you try and purchase thousands of dollars worth of gift cards. You use your debit card or your, your credit, credit card? card? It's a credit card. I'm surprised, yeah. they, I'm surprised they declined it. Because usually credit cards are very like, oh yeah, just let them go through. Yeah, no. No, it wasn't quite that simple. It was originally, well, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. So the first one Story just time. totally was like, <laughs> right? And then she told me like, oh. And she's like, well, let's try and split it up. Do you have another card? I'm like, yeah. She's like, do you have more than one card? I'm like, yeah. And I'm thinking, now I'm getting played, right? <laughs> and she's like, we're going to try and do this like in $500 increments because I think that'll get passed. So like the next card we use at $500, that's where I got the text. And I had to say, yes, it's me. And then, then when I got to American Express, American Express was like, well, screw it, we don't care. They well, let they do everything go through. But the first one, I don't remember what... It was not Capital One. It was C C C Citibank, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't remember. But anyway, learn the lesson, children. If you're going to buy a whole bunch of gift cards on your credit card... Call your bank. Call your bank or keep it under $500, apparently. So that's the lesson in this video. I don't know. I said we weren't going to do a long video because you've got other things to go off and do. And I suspect... 21 minutes. 21 minutes. So uh, I'm going to just put one more light on this. I'm not going to relight. I think I'm done. You don't like it? No, it's good. I just I think I'm at the bottom of the bowl now. Oh. It's a small bowl. It looks like a decent sized pipe, but it's, this bowl is pretty small. You get a nice flavor on Retrohale. You do. That's the way to enjoy this. You've got to do the Retrohale to get the full flavor of this butter pecan. It's not, it's not bad. It, it dried out. I think we would have had a much better experience with this. I agree with you. Does it deserve the 1.8? I don't know. I've got to go back and, re and, and read. I didn't read any of the... Does it really deserve more than 1.8, though? I think so. Probably. I, like I'm sure somebody in there gave it a 4. 2.1? I don't know. I mean, I, it's not going to get up there in the threes. But... Um, you want to leave it open or you want to close it? You, you could probably leave it open for a year and it's be fine. It's going to be Samuel Gay with blend. Yeah. I mean, it's not... Uh, well, Sutliff does make Malto Dochi. They do. And that is wet. That one, you can, you don't ever have to jar that. You can it's just like leave a, that in a can, just let it sit out. You leave it next to McDonald's hamburger, and neither one of them are going to spoil. That's true. That's true. All right. So, if we have made this clear as mud for you how to enter, that's great, because I really don't know what I'm doing, yeah. and I'm depending on Phil to help me, and I just... I'm... Thank you for being a subscriber, and thank you for a million watch minutes. And I don't know why, but it says something about you people that you're crazy. And that, as, I, for that long. And as, as I said in the prior video that we did, um, if you've been watching him for five, five years, years, God bless. God you. bless your soul. Yeah, five, yeah, five years. You have some. Uh, you have some demons to exercise. I can help with that. <laughs> Perfect. Five year. I wonder if I look different. I should go back and watch a five-year-old video. See, Padre Piper coming at you. If you didn't now you sound like you. Derek Tant trying to do an imitation <laughs> of me. Like you're imitating Derek imitating me. <laughs> coming at you via the virtual airway. I don't think I said that in the of five years ago. I think it started later on. Everybody needed some kind of catchphrase or something and... That ended up being... It's mine. stuck, huh? Mm. Yeah. I'm chasing the flavor in this thing. I'm, I'm kind of liking it, so... All right. Well, I'm going to announce that uh, I'm going to do a giveaway on my first video that I make. Yeah, you need to make one, though, to, in order to do that. This is true. That's why I'm doing a giveaway. What are you giving away? I have no idea. All right. I'm going to give away this secret. It's got, like, no content up yet, and he should. I should. All right. Uh, I think we can sign off. Yeah. Anything else we need to say? No, this is... This is your show. Yeah, all right. Padre, I'll make another video later with more details because I have a feeling I probably have left out like really important stuff on how to do this contest. Like, I don't even know when it's going to end. I'll announce that next time. Padre, with Mark VV of the Briar Bothy, wishing you and yours God's peace, grace, and blessings. <laughs>